right, guys. Now, we have to find our variance, standard deviation, and coefficient of variation from this data given to us. And we're also given the mean, all right, 55.14. I want to find our variance, standard deviation, and coefficient of variation. Now, how do we do that? Now, the first one we need to find is our variance. Now, the formula for variance, all right, the formula for variance is summation f into x minus x bar all squared over summation f, all right? So we have to get this in order to be able to get our variance, all right? We have to get x minus x bar, then we have to get x minus x bar squared, and then f times x minus x bar and sum it all. Now you can see, according to my table here, I already, okay, I used this information to get my mean, my um, median and my mode, but now we have to get our variance, all right? So we're going to need a column that will contain x minus x bar, that means each item here minus x bar, which is your mean, 55.14, all right? And then you need to find x minus x bar squared and f multiplied by x minus x bar all squared. So let's quickly hop on to that. So we're going to be doing x minus x bar. So the first one is 42 minus 55.14. 42 minus 55.14. That's going to give us what? Minus... 13.14. Now the next one is what? The next one is what? 47. All right. 47 minus 55.14. All right. And then we have minus 8.14. And we keep doing the same thing. We keep repeating the same process. All right. All right. So when we do x minus x bar, these are the data we're going to have. All right. This is what we're going to have. Now, the next column says x minus x bar squared. So, we have to square every single result that we got here, all right? So, the first one is minus 13.14 squared, all right? So, we're going to square this, all right? We're going to take the square of this. So, we have 13.14 all squared. And then we have what? 172, 172.6596. All right, so we're going to take the same step for every single space here. All right, all right. So when we take the square of this, of this, we are going to have this. This is going to be our final result. Now, the next thing we have to do is find f times x minus x bar squared. We have to find the product of the frequency multiplied by x minus x bar squared. So we're going to, for each case, we're going to start with four times this. All right, so we're going to start with four times one seven two. Point six five nine six. All right. So we're going to have what six five nine six. That's going to be six ninety point six three eight four. All right. So now we're going to receive, repeat the same process for every of the data. All right. So when we multiply f times x minus x bar squared for every single data here, this is what we're going to have now. Do not forget, the formula for variance says what? Summation f multiplied by x minus x bar squared over summation f. Now, we've gotten the product of f times x minus x bar squared, but we need to take the sum of all of them, summation, because this symbol actually means summation. So we have to sum all of this. So let's go straight to doing that. All right, so when we sum all of this, we're going to have 2858.572, all right? Now, we have the sum of all of this, so we can find our variance. So our variance is going to be equal to what? 2858.572 divided by summation f. This is 7. Let me write this clearly. This is 72 divided by summation f, which is what? 70. So when we divide this by this, we're going to have what? 40.84. All right? We're going to have 40.84. That's going to get our variance. Now, we have to get the standard deviation. Now, how do we get the standard deviation? Um, I'll have to rub off this question, all right? All right, so how do we get the standard deviation? We get the standard deviation with this formula. Now, your standard deviation is the square root of summation f into x minus x bar all squared over summation f. And if you watch closely, the formula inside the square root is the formula for variance. So it means that standard deviation is the square root of variance. 
all right so if you found your variance you can easily find your standard deviation find your standard deviation so your standard deviation is going to be equal to square root of what do you have here as your variance 40.84 all right so it's going to be equal to what so we're going to say square root of 40.84 and then we're going to have what 6.39 all right, so our standard deviation is 6.39. That's our standard deviation. Now, we also have to find the coefficient of variation. Now, how do we find the coefficient of variation? Very easy. Now, the coefficient of variation, all right, CV is III, is actually what? Your standard deviation, all right, divided by your mean multiplied by 100, all right? Because your coefficient of variation is always in percentage.